to Scronk Speak number eight. Thank you very much for coming. Uh, up in a sec, we have our feature act, Alan Bellamy. Uh, Alan's been coming to Scronk for, I don't know, like five years or something now, on and off. And uh, probably the first time he's been a feature artist, so uh, this is going to be excellent. I hope it's excellent, Alan. <laughs> And uh, yeah, we have uh, lots of Skronk events. There's uh, twice a month on Tuesday, Skronk open mic and prop sessions. The next one is actually on the 29th, so there's a little while till that. And we also have Skronktronic nights. The next one is on the 5th of April. They're all here generally, and they're all free, so you can come along. Um, and also this Saturday, uh, it's my birthday. And uh, the Apocalypse Jazz Unit is going to be playing at 100 Years Gallery, so come along to that. Um, it'll be free or donation entry, and I absolutely promise all money is going to be spent on drugs. So, you know, it's not going to be wasted. Um, I will be wasted. Anyway, uh, without any further ado, we have our feature artist, Alan Bellamy. It's all yours, Alan. As he 
took my kilt. This one works better if 
Andy's not here. So I just imagine oh, yeah. Andy's not no, just imagine. Just imagine. Yeah, just imagine that Andy's not here. So everybody just imagine Andy's not here. This poem is called Let Down. So I arranged to meet Andy here tonight. <laughs> but they let me down. So I'm wearing a frown. Can I sit down? <laughs> yes, you may sit down, Andy. Thank you, Andy. So you can pretend Andy's here. No, Andy, you can stop pretending Andy's not here. Thank you. <laughs> Asala, princess of the sea. Asala, won't you come with me? Asala. Princess of the sea, a sailor, won't you dance with me? A sailor, princess of the sea, a sailor, won't you sit down and stop milking this? nice to see Captain Foresight, to see him would be nice. Thank you. Potpourri, potpourri, why can I not smell thee? Sorry guys, this is this is serious business. It's not comedy. Scrum, it's scrum speak, not scrum comedy. I just remembered another of the million things I didn't get ready for tonight. So maybe next year. Sorry, maybe in eight years' time. The dead swans lay in the stagnant pool. They lay, they rotted, they turn around occasionally. Bits of them dropped off from time to time and sank into the pool's mire. They also smelt a great deal. Thanks to Paul and Nancy Millstone Jennings for that. Railway Bridge of the Silvery Tay Alas, I am sorry to say That no more lines of this poem will be spoken today Sorry, William Topaz McGonagall Sorry if I'm a bit too happy tonight So my poems will lack their usual morose charm Die. 
sometime between the next few weeks and next 15 years, Tommy will be no more. advances you're leaving today pack up your unused toenail clippers you're leaving today pack up your tears you're leaving today pack up your excuses you're going to war today
Jesus and by the seventh pill I was lobotomized. I am the zombie Jesus and on the eighth day I rise neither dead nor alive. Thank you. Since the dawn of time Millennials have struggled with the age-old dilemma. Forgo the triple mocha wheat coffee frappa substitute from Mr. Chang Coffee every morning and so be able to afford the mortgage on the four-bed detached that Daddy definitely didn't help with. Or have that triple mocha wheat coffee frappa substitute from Mr. Chang Coffee and so form an essential part in propping up the great and glorious sunlit economy in these uplands, safe in the knowledge that your landlord has your best interests at heart. Thank you. Gathered on the banks they swayed in anticipation, displays of ill-fitting battle gear and helmets, bristling war appropriation, expectant of treats. Honour. Somebody else's, of course. Shock shows around their eyes. Humour was promised. Outrage was given. Of course, the jolly side eyes. for a pair of knee pads. It's the little things. Shoes so big they won't fit on a plane. Barefoot I go to raise awareness. I once had a poem about Piers Morgan being a cunt. It was called, Piers Morgan is a cunt. That was my poem about Piers Morgan being a cunt. Now I have a poem about Boris Johnson. And it's called, Boris Johnson is a cunt. It goes, Boris Johnson is a cunt. Thank you. Not all men have a penis. Not all men wear bras. Not all men wash laundry every day. Not all men enjoy a soy milk frappet crappuccino. I do like coffee, by the way. I'm not just taking the piss out of coffee. <laughs> Sorry to break character and all that. Not all men feel pain anymore. Not all men feel the cold, hard weight of existence on their shoulders and slowly rock themselves to sleep with tears on their cheeks at two in the afternoon with Zoom muted and the camera turned off. Not all men stand up and risk a beating for standing up. Not all men get to 60 and wonder miserably how to cope with the next five to 10 years before retirement. Not all men feel the need. Silent night. Holy night, can someone please get this kitten off me? It's very excitable and has sharp teeth and claws. Please hurry, I'm trying to write poetry.
went to a granddaddy gig in Leicester after seeing a video on MTV. It's actually MTV too. There were more people in the room from Manchester than Leicester. That poem is called The Leicester Music Scene. Alan, motherfucking Bellamy, that was fucking fantastic. Um, 